Uh, this is a short video that I decided to make uh, concerning the SSTN32103 Charlie 86. Anyway, concerning uh, what is a, a pull up and pull down uh, on the inputs. Okay, so um, uh, this is the uh, diagram that I set up. Okay, as you see, I decided to uh, uh, make my circuit to where I'm giving a uh, positive three balls. Okay, to the rail. And then when I press the push buttons, you know, I just let it know. Now, uh, after I designed the circuit, I decided that I'm going to make this one a pull up. So it's always going to be drawing three bolts from top. And therefore, um, this will be pressing the push button. It will be pointless. Okay. So I'm going to be simulating it with a ground wire. I'm going to have, I'm going to be attaching a, a wire. Okay. And I'll show you in a moment. And I'm going to be touching uh, this side of the pin so that I can actually put a, a ground over here because, the, like I said, PA2, I'm going to be setting it up as a pull up. Okay. All right. So now uh, when I show you my, my my actual circuit, I added two um, diodes. Okay. That these are for indication. So whenever I press the buttons, you know, they're going to bright lighter. Very, very, very bright, and that's to let me know that my push button is working. I just like that so that I know uh, because uh, and and I, I created my own uh, development board, okay. And at any moment, I can use uh, my pins, okay, as as inputs, okay. Like I can, you know, over here I'm just sending a signal via, and this is just an example right now. That's not supposed to do anything. PA seven, okay. If I press it, I can send a signal. Uh, but if I'm using it as an output, okay, for PA7, then the light will come out and I could attach something, some wire, just like uh, I just ran out of these little guys. But anyway, the focus right now is these two guys over here, okay, PA1 and PA2. PA1 is a pull down, okay, so therefore it's, it's to ground and you see the LED is off, uh, PA2 is a pull up and therefore you know that led is on now if i do press it down it's not gonna have any effect uh on the pull up if i press the other one okay you notice that there is another light that comes on okay that other light belongs to a uh, pa3 and that's because i have a uh, micro c i decided that let me refocus over here that pa1 controls pa3 light and pa2 controls PA5 light. Now, uh, PA2 is a pull up, so I need to put a ground, okay, and here is what I come in with my ground, and I am now putting a ground on, ah, uh, shoot, I just need to refocus. Whenever I ground it, okay, then I'm affecting the input of PA2, Okay, and therefore PA5, it goes off. Now, let's go back to the diagram. And uh, so here, I have, uh, yeah, this is a schematic that I got from the diagram of the, on the book for, I'm sorry, the data sheet for this type of um, microcontroller. Okay, and this is what's called an input floating okay as you can see it's uh so the signal comes only here this is the outside of the chip okay and the signal comes in and to go inside to go into the different registers okay just gonna focus over there uh, uh all of those registers okay this is inside the chip before it goes into that uh you know if I don't like to do a input floating, a floating input because you never know what you're gonna get if it's a zero or one. Okay, very unpredictable. But um, if you do a pull up, okay, that's what a pull up in, inside of the code. You simply tell it to um, to short it to an internal resistor. This I don't even know what the value of that resistor is, but it's inside the chip. Okay, we don't have to do put a pull up of resistors outside on the uh, circuit board because you know we can do it via code okay that's how a pull up means okay so signal comes in and if you put ground like when i was putting a yellow wire to ground okay uh, i was making it 
um, uh, at zero potential over here and something was happening, but as soon as I removed my yellow wire, okay, which was my ground, okay, it went back to uh, a pull up and that's why the LED uh, associated with PA, in this case, mine was PA2, PA2 was staying on. Okay, just an indication. What does a pull down looks like? Okay, that is what a pull down looks like. Uh, so, you just simply, that resistor is open, but this resistor now is closed, okay? And always you are at ground potential, okay? So at this point on, when you put three volts over here, then that is a definitely a positive uh, one, okay? And as soon as you take out the three volt, 3.3 volts, it defaults to ground, okay? So, in micro C, and I'm just gonna go to my micro C part of it, okay? This is how I define it. And I'm just gonna wait for it to focus, okay? So it's a standard program over here. Here I just simply activate um, the um, register A, okay? Because I'm working with register A, so I'm energizing the clock on that register, okay? Very important step to do for this type of microcontroller. Then after that in here, I'm just uh, uh, resetting, putting these values into the, into the lower, uh, bits and the higher bits, okay, the setup of the register so that my mode and my uh, C and F for all pins are just in a, what is called the reset state, okay. Then after that came over here and I needed a GA a, a point uh, PA1, so this is PA1, so port A1, okay, and that is this guy over here, okay. So PA1, okay, which uh, which in a microcontroller, okay, so let me just refocus that, okay, so it would be whatever it is, uh, PA1 in there, okay, PA1, so the way how I'm configuring that one as an input, okay, you simply uh, uh, here, uh, just that's the mode, uh, the fact that I'm putting a zero over here makes it an input, okay, I do forget what the... Uh, CNF2, you know, I know that's a 10, uh, but what does a 10 means? Uh, let's go back to this page over here. A 10 on CNF means, uh, oh, okay, that, you, that I'm gonna be using either pull up or pull down. What defines if it's gonna be a pull up or a pull down, okay? It is definitely this one over here or a zero on the ODR. So if I put a zero, it is a uh, pull down, or if it's a one, it's a pull up. We're gonna go back to micro C. So we're gonna keep in mind uh, one on ODR is a pull down. Okay, so back to micro C. And so look at here, we got a one, a zero, I'm sorry, in ODR one, um, that's for PA one. And that makes it a pull up. But if this one over here has a one, uh, on ODR2, that means that that makes it a pull down. Everything else stays the same. Okay, that is, this is, well, as you can see, the micro C uh, code. Now, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go up a little higher. And here is where I make the decisions of what's going on, okay? I just ask, okay, uh, in an infinite while loop, okay, if the pin, um, uh, well, general purpose input and output port A, and if the input um, data register, IDR bit number one, okay, uh, which that corresponds to, once again, this one over here, that's when I press this guy over here, okay, I'm gonna be doing something. And, and in here, you see the light that is coming on is the PA3, so, uh, if I go back over here, well, if if it's pressed, then pretty much I set I I set uh, port A bit three, and I put a one. Okay, that, that's gonna make the light come on. Okay, associated with that. Otherwise, if the light, if if nothing is being pressed over here, if I'm not getting that constant five volts, then by default I just go to. Um, and I put a reset, okay, BR, okay, which is a bit reset on three, which makes it into a zero, and that's why the light stays off, okay? Now, notice that this light stays on all the time, okay? 
uh, because you know that's PA5. Um, PA5 is controlled right here, so that's the port A and B set resets. And this one is asking that if if this condition is true, well, the condition is being always true because um, it's a uh, it's in a pull up, okay. And, and since it's a pull up, it's always getting a, a positive one until I go ahead and manually put a, 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 a ground, okay? And that is when this step comes in over here, okay? Where uh, if you see the wire, okay, it comes in from my ground, okay? And I go in, okay? So I go to PA2. Why PA2, are you asking again, okay? Because I'm over there, you know, you see that this is the question over here. Okay, what's happening over here, PA2, and whatever basically happens when I control bit 5, okay? So, from PA2, we're going to be controlling, let me just focus that again. So, PA2, we're going to be controlling PA5, okay? And I'm just going to touch it, okay? PA5 is always on until I ground it, and then it just goes off, okay? There you go, now I got a solid connection, okay? Now this over here, this LED is staying on, because remember, this is my my feedback report, my, my feedback concerning what's going on at PA3, okay? And that is, that this is being fed uh, via the pull-up resistor, okay? So this is an input light, this is an input light I like to have. Uh, like I said, you know, I just, when I decided this design this circuit, I made it so I can use my inputs and my outputs uh, interchangeably. So I don't have to redesign a circuit every single time that I'm going to be doing different projects. As you can see, I already got it set up for TX, RX Communications, a project that I'm planning to do in the future uh, with my phone, with a phone app that I designed.